What has changed? What has revealed? A film lives or dies on if and how these questions are answered. Make no mistake, if something is not changed in a scene, that scene is dead. This semester, when you're all diligently watching the films assigned each week, I want you to be asking yourselves, is something being changed or revealed? If so, why? Was that change successful? Always be questioning what you're seeing. A film is pictures in motion that requires change or revelation. Yes. When do we get to make films? Unfortunately, not in this class. Clue was concealed in the course title, Introduction to Film Theory. Though, however, I can understand if you'd not read all four words, it could have been misleading. Well, if anyone else has any burning questions, these are my office hours. Approach me outside of these times and I will blank you, so take note. All right. Badlands. certainly lacked the third that say the Oakland early work. Where the fuck is room 203? Yeah, no, I mean, you're right, it's been, it's been weird, <laughs> so, yeah. Wow, no, that's, like, I'm fine, that's, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm busy as well, so, um, that's, can I, hang on a second, hey, come in, sit wherever. What? Oh, um, sit wherever. <laughs> hey, hello? Welcome. Um, my name is Ella Keeley, um, but everyone calls me Keeley, so you can too, if you want. Um, so this is a tutorial for film 108, so if you're not studying introduction to film theory, then you're in the wrong room. <laughs> um, so we've got some housekeeping stuff to do, um, but I thought first we'd just introduce ourselves. Yeah, I, I know, but um, it'll be good when it comes time to discuss the films we're studying. So we'll just go around the room and introduce ourselves and where we've come from and just give our favourite film as well, um, since this is a film class. <laughs> okay, so I'm Keely and I'm doing my PhD in film and my favourite movie is Heathers. Okay, who wants to go next? <laughs> Oh, 
Maybe it's easier if I just point to someone to go first. Um, how about you there? You've got a friendly face. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> uh, my name's Damien. My favourite film, uh, I guess it's a tie between Tarkovsky's Solaris and Bunuel's Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie. I really like the languorous pace of Solaris and the formality of the filmmaking on offer, but then I do feel that Bunuel's film is the definitive statement of the definitive surrealist filmmaker, so it's a tough choice. Oh, great. Uh, where did you see those films? Oh, I've been watching The Masters since I was pretty young. When I was making my short film, Desires of a Bloodhound, I used Tarkovsky as a jumping off point. It's something that the Melbourne Film Festival really picked up on. Oh, wow. Uh, are you a bit advanced for an introduction to film course then? <laughs> oh, no. I'm sure I'll learn plenty. Right. Great. Um, what about you? What's your favourite? Oh, well, my name's Blake. I just got out of college, Naismith College. Uh, I don't know who that bourgeoisie guy is, but my favourite film is uh, Avengers. If it has Sam Jackson in it, it's pretty sweet though, eh? <laughs> Fantastic. And you? Oh, hi guys, um, I'm Hannah. It's really nice to meet you all. Just before we get started, you should all come and get drunk at the Stein I'm organising um, tomorrow night. Now, it's a toga party, so if you don't show up in a toga, you have to do a funnel. Um, I think there's going to be a little competition. Who's got the best togas? You can really jazz it up. I'm going to do rhinestones on mine. But I've also seen people do like gold cords great, and like great, little crowd. Great. Um, and, and the film? Um, I really like E.T. Jesus. Um, okay. And you? Oh, hey, I'm Sarah. I don't really have a favourite film. I don't watch many films. What are you doing here then? Um, but I'd like to learn. There was a film I saw a long time ago that kind of stuck with me. It's about a boy and he's growing up. I don't know, I'm not explaining it very well. Um, and it ends on a beach and he's at this kind of in between place. I don't know. I liked it. I can't remember what it's called though. Oh, it's Planet of the Apes. 400 Blows. That's the name of the movie. The 400 Blows. Yeah, that one. I'll have to watch it again. Thanks, Sarah. And you? Okay, well, my name's Chloe. Uh, my favourite film is The Piano. Have you got a problem with that too? What? Well, I guess it is a little derivative as Hey, uh, it's Damien, right? Go fuck yourself, Damien. Okay, um, let's, let's move on. Shot, shot sizes, let's talk about those. Uh, I'm gonna need a volunteer to be our camera subject. Oh, thanks, great. Um, if you wanna just come and take a seat, I'll just, um, just. Yep, I just wanna. Harris already took you through this, but um, just to check you were listening, we're going to have a quick pop quiz. So, what do we call a shot that frames this? A close up. Yep, good. And this? A mid shot. Great. What about if we had the camera right at the back of the room and we could see not just Hannah but everything around her as well? A long shot? You got it. Um, okay, so what if we had someone else in the frame? Do you want to? Jump in. Um, so they're sitting next to each other. If we had them apart but in the same frame, what is it? A two shot. Yes. Thanks, Damien. A two shot. Okay, so if framed like this, what would it tell us? That they're friends, maybe? Yep, could be. Um, and what if we got them in closer 
and brought the frame in tighter. Uh, like, are they going out or something? Yeah, <laughs> intimacy, right? So if, Hannah, you just want to put your arm around her shoulder. And Sarah, if you look at Hannah, uh, yeah, so intimacy. I'm sorry, Keely, but isn't there something more advanced we could discuss? I mean, getting these two to stare longingly into each other's eyes is all very well and good, but this is very basic material. Yeah, well, I think you'll find that this is actually a beginner's class. I, I, think, so I think you'll find that I well, didn't actually I, ask actually, you. I, guess that was I just don't idea. see no. what your problem uh, yeah, is. You seem to be shitting on every single person in this room. Yeah, but neither are you. You're just talking. Hey, babe, how's my... What? Right now. Right now. I actually I'm in class right now. Yeah, I told you. We talked about this. I'm still in class. Just hold on. Listen up. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. I'm going to have everybody's ten. I think we're all pretty excited about that. It's a good viewing list of stuff we can look at. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Uh, well, we're going to be studying because it's pretty exciting. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty excited about it. So, if you just listen up for a sec, and we'll do that. Nice, uh, nice twist of film, by the way. I have it, if you, if you want to borrow it. <laughs> Oh, thanks. It's William, right? Yeah. Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you going to the Stein tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you next week. Yeah. <laughs> You a good man? Yeah, fine. You sure? I've known you since you were like seven, so I can tell when you're not fine. Oh, you know. Just a little bit worried about where I'm going and what I'm doing and all that. <laughs> I think that's pretty normal. I know I am. Really, Clark? <laughs> yeah, of course. It's gonna be okay. Right, well, I'm off home. Assignment due next week. Gonna think about doing it, not do it. Feel bad about not doing it. The cycle goes on. <laughs> Yo. Hey, what you watching? Entourage. Hmm? Mm. How's your first day, uni girl? It was fine. Cool. <laughs> 